and welcome to my channel. My name is Carly and this is Carly's Crafts and Interests. Today we're going to be doing this craft here. This is a paper bowl. You can put like rings or light things in it. It's not meant for like anything that you know you could put like this or you know little things. It's a fun craft and what you get is you get I've started on this one here. See, you get three of these, and you get all of and little discs like this, and you get um, glue and the the brush, the foam brush to do that with. Now, I'm going to continue on showing you what we are working with. So I've got it on here. What you do is you take your glue and let's see, I am choosing some uh, something to go on to next for this. Let's see. It's a little bit hard to, to decide because some have already been done. Maybe I'll just add this one on here too. For now, I'm trying to keep it a color scheme. And what you do is you just generously put them on back and front right here. Don't skimp on the glue. You don't need to be light on the glue. And I'm going to, I'm going to put that one over here for now, since it's not so right next to the other one. Now I'm going to put something that goes next to it. Let's see. I'm going to dump out the rest of these so I can see what else I can put. Bring this on here, and I'm going to place it in the gap that I have, like that. So we're getting it. I've almost got it done here. And now I'm going to do the top. Make sure the top's all covered. Do the same thing, get my brush back, forth, and now don't skimp on the glue because you want it to stick together. Like this and I would have chosen slightly different um, designs if I were making this kit, but they're okay. They're, they're interesting. You know, they're just not exactly what I would want if I had the choice. So, but that's okay. I mean, you work with what you have sometimes in these things. Um, I'll show you. The kit comes like this. And you get three of these, and then you do what we're doing. Very simple instructions. I'm trying to find the last one just to go in there that I would like to just fill in this little gap I've got. I want it. Mm, that doesn't really go. Maybe I'll just go here. Let's do this one. Mm. 
Okay, so we'll just. Yes, you will get glue on your hands. But this is water based glue, so it will come off. So now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. I'm going to wipe off my hands with my wipey here. Sanitary wipe that I've got. Very handy, so you don't have to run to the sink. And move it around. Where's the cap gone? They do get a little bit fiddly and they do like to stick to your hands. So you just guide them. Where they're meant to be. Let's see, there's a big gap there. Just place another one here just to cover that gap. To add strength to our bowl. Now, it's okay to have a little bit of gaps. As you can see, this one does have a bit of a gap, and that's okay. Now, we've gotten it to the point where it's all on there, as you can see. Now, what you do <coughs> is, <coughs> sorry about my throat here. You just go over with some glue. It's going to... It's going to do, it's going to play around, it's going to, you know, not do what it's supposed to. You have to be kind of careful because it likes to stick. And it likes to stick to you as well, I find. And, you know, while it is... Still not totally stuck down. You can add to this. To add strength to the bowl, you can move them around if you like, like put them in a different spot. You just don't be surprised if they come up, just put them right back down. And place them where you want them to be. I find if you touch them before they are done drying, yes, they will come up and they will move around on your fingers if you have it anywhere near the bowl. So I'm just trying to starting to join together. Which you want. You do want that. This one's insisting on coming. Right, my hands are off. Oh, there's a big old gap here. That can't stay. Anyways. What you're going to do is you're going to, you know, make sure that these things kind of move down onto and conform to this bowl shape. That's what you want it to do. 
and also hook on together, which they are kind of doing and kind of not doing right now. So I'm just moving them the best I can. They will not, it won't be like a solid rim bowl. It will look like this. That's normal for it to do, like scalloped. It's supposed to look like that. But you just make sure that all of these have a couple of coats of couple of coats of glue afterwards and try your best not to get them to be sticking to your fingers. This is hard. It's hard to pick this up and not have that not have that down because they will do it with your just slid. That's just annoying. Anyways, that's basically the craft. You have you want to make sure that they're all on here and then you put a couple of coats of glue on it. And one thing I will, you know, you have to say is that you have to wait a few days for it to be taken off the form. Don't try to take it off right away because it'll fall right apart on you. You know, it won't work. I had to set it up on a shelf, you know, or put in, you know, a safe place, you know, and leave it for a few days. Then, when it's nice and dry, peel it off the form that it is on, and then you will have your bowl like this. And that is our craft today. I hope you enjoyed it. It's so it's fun. It's a bit messy, messier than I would like, you know, but not not incredibly if you know if mainly because of the glue, but the glue does come off your hands. Um, if you have subscribed, I am glad that you have. I'm so glad to have you with me on this little channel. And I would love it to grow more. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Please please be a part of our our channel. I do crafts like this that are fun to do. I'm a kit person. I do a lot of things out of kits because that's a, that's a fun way for me to learn and to show you. You can do this and you can, you know... And, and then after, if, if you get proficient, of course, you don't need the kit. You can do it yourself in other ways. But um, it, it's free to subscribe. I don't have anything set up, you know, for money or anything. I have nothing like that. I'm just trying to have a channel, grow it, maybe be monetized you know i have a way to go before that is this happening and you know and hope you had a great day and enjoyed this it's a fun craft i was pleasantly surprised the way this turned out um it's and hope you have a great day take care let's try to get the glue off my hands here and for now, take care and bye for now.